Hey everyone, and welcome back to Why Falcon Plays. We're back in Vault of the Void. Um, Frenzy and Passive Valleys. Enemy HP scaling increased. I think we'll stay on hard because we're playing new characters all the time. Um, and maybe do an impossible run a bit later when we have some more. So we're going to do the Enlightened. We can choose Martial or Mindfulness. With the ability to bend time, he strikes quickly, setting up kills well into the future. Okay, um, apply weak to all enemies, deal two she three times to all enemies. Every three times you enter Zen, draw one card. At the end of every even turn, all enemies will suffer one fatigue. Enter Zen by playing three cards of the same type. In Zen, all cards will cost minus one energy. Five cards played or end of turn. Key mechanics. The Enlightened... I probably should have read this first. The Enlightened makes use of chain mechanics. Each time you play three cards of the same type in a row, you'll increase your chain to three. And enter Zen. Once Zen, all cards will cost one less energy. So, repeating cards will be handy. One times eight. Oh yeah, this is what we have. Same type, isn't it? Yeah. So attack, ability. Okay. Or mindfulness. We'll just go the standard first. We can go back through and play the other one of each. Maybe on impossible. All right. Let us head in. We'll work it all out. Booster. Epic. Maybe it always gives you just one of these. Uh, for each attack played this turn, this could be good. Um, follow up, apply vulnerable. Opener, block five, and apply slow one. Reduces the frenzy stack, stack by one. Deal four, future strike. Inflicts, inflicts damage at the end of even turn. Then resets to zero, not a debuff. Two times. Follow up deal to she. So what's she? She, she ex extend ex exceeding an enemy's HP will destroy it. Transfers 50% split between remaining enemies. Unaffected by vulnerable, not a debuff. She ex exceeding an enemy's HP will destroy it. Transferring 50% split between remaining enemies. All right. I think we've only got a healing potion again. So we will continue with our healing potion. We've got some of these guardians. We've tried this guy before. We've tried this guy before. We haven't tried these two. So that'll be interesting. I will cleanse this place of evil. Alright, so we tried this guy before, I think. Um, I think we're just going to get in and see how it all goes. I, I guess it'd be good to put this in. Um, follow up to Tushi. No idea. Let's have a let's have a jump in first. Reduce the cost of a card from your deck to zero until the card is played. Clone and ghost copies won't retain this. We've got nothing that costs much yet, so that might be good for a later point. Um, and we'll put this in as well. And maybe we'll put this in. Uh, delay block, block 5. Interesting. So we can actually play block cards at the start of combat now. Deal 5, she. Follow up, deal 2, she. Zen, deal 2, she. Alright, let's go with... That. Oh, we got one of these as well. We get overcharge. Alright, let us jump in and have a look. Matron of Memories again. What are we going to get? 5 souls, 300 essence, or lose 20 max HP, gain tea leaves. Praying for greed at shrines will grant you one upgrade point. I think greed is to get essence. Interesting. But we've already got a small amount of HP. Five souls, three six. I like, I like artifacts. Play Slay the Spire, I've got masses of artifacts, no life. 
fall over dead. All right, let us see. Where are we going? What is this? Dark Mine. A dark visitor capable of cloning your cards. This is always good. And then we... This is all... Can we get greed here? Extra essence. I think we can. So we should go down here. Is that what I got? At shrines. 100%. So we want to go here. We want to go here. That is a priority. These are new. So we'll go to these. Well, that's not new. But oh, it might be new. We don't have enough essence to go there, though. You know, something like that. Three souls. We don't have any souls either. So we might go up here. But I want to go down here first. All right. Standard fight first. We know the little forsaken guys. Let's head in. Each time you play a card, it will advance your chain. Play three cards of the same type, attack, ability, or buff in a row to enter Zen. Um, ability, ability, ability. So, opener, block five and apply slow. Follow up, apply vulnerable two. Um, if we play all of our abilities, we'll use up all our mana. We can play this for free. Or we could sell that and play this. Okay. Uh, what does this do? Apply weak to all enemies. Deal two sh she three times to all enemies. <laughs> all right. Well, let's let's do it to see what happens. For say foresight, reduce the cost of a card from your deck to zero until the card is played. Oh, I didn't know I had one of these in here. So we could do it to the card that we just have. Oh, it has to be in the deck. Well, I don't even think this is that good. For what we have. Like, it'd be better playing this. Got five chi from doing zen. Five zen. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Five cards we play will be reduced. Or three cards. I'm not sure. Uh, three future strike two times opener rage 25 and then we'll get some mana I guess okay so we got five block all right what do we got attack attack and attack so we should be able to take someone out that's oh, future strikes This turn. Okay, so we can probably take this guy out. 14, yeah. Then that guy's going to die next turn, even. I don't know what turn it is. Where's our turn counter? That would be useful to know if we're going for an even or odd turn. Not sure. Every third time you enter Zen, draw one card. Block. Uh, and delay five block. Yeah, because that'll deal with it for next turn. Take a rest. Take a, take, Have a sleep. Uh, scale your future strikes. Increases the number of times it applied scales your she by adding its value to any applied. Okay. This one's a bit more complicated. Um, three future strike, two times. So that'll be enough to kill him. Well, three times. Oh, because of this stuff. Three, six, nine. All right. Well, that guy is dead. We'll do that and that. And then we've got future block. We could do some of those. And we don't need future block, so we'll get mana. Oh, that's going to stuff me up, I think. So they'll get hit next turn. Um, open it, rage. Rage. 
How much future block do the damage? Future strike nine. So that's enough. Twenty-four. Easy enough. Uh six attacks. We'll do two of these. Oh, did I miss that guy? Thought we had him easy. Interesting, interesting. It's all about future, because we actually can't kill him until later. Just make sure he is dead. So we might end up losing health a bit more with this kind of build. It'll instantly kill him. Okay. Interesting. So, we can upgrade if we pick Greed. Here we go. Nice. Um, okay. So where was that two cost thing? Deal five future strikes two times. Echo wall two. Open an echo wall two. When an enemy attacks, any damage they inflict will be reflected back. Reduced by one at the start of your turn. Interesting. I guess we'll do this one to start with. Because it's nice and shiny. Um, two. Oh, we got it. We got a decent amount of uh, essence now. So maybe we'll jump down here. We're missing on all the elite fights though. I could jump up here. What's this do again? It's three souls minimum for one void card or one void card. And clone. We haven't got any good cards yet. We need to go up here. We're going to go up here and see what's up here. We'll kill these guys before. Let us head in. Lightwort gloom shrooms. We're going to do some preemptive attacks on you guys. We'll go for this guy. Zen slow. If it's... Okay. We can't Zen. Unfortunately. We can Zen once. No, we can't even Zen once. 26. Poison. Threat. You can kill one of these instantly. Why not? Five future block. Apply stun one. It's annoying. Was he supposed to die? Hmm. Alright. Um, or did this guy eat him or something? Probably eat him. Rage. Oh, I want to play this. Um, is it an attack? Yeah, it is. We don't need to block. We will need to next time, but hopefully we'll be okay. I think we played this one. Oh, I thought it would be... Oh, no. Of course not. Okay. We could have done that, actually. That would have killed him. They're all sleeping. We take a bit of damage, though. And we don't have enough to block it. So it's going to be interesting. Three, six, nine. Hmm. Block five. And apply slow. That's good. Slow. I think he's going to be dead before we need to slow him. Three future. He'll be dead. Uh, we've got ten already. We need one more. And then we will do that. So this, this ability, I probably need to use this more. Uh, apply weak to all enemies, deal two she damage three times to all enemies. Let's give that a... Should we just see what happens? Like, we have got him probably, but... Okay, so she... 
Exceeds an enemy's HP will destroy it, and then it transfers more across. Okay. Okay. Oh, and it's blue that's coming this way, because I'm like, why is this less? Okay. But future strikes different to that. Maybe. So they're both dead. I should have used the other one, because I would have got free energy, but I'm not sure. Nice. Interesting. So we could have a whole... I don't, I don't know if she is the other class. Probably is. Okay, we're going to go up this way then. I love our chest. They're very happy to see us. Uh, opener apply vulnerable one. That sounds pretty good for an opener. But this echo wall sounds pretty cool as well. Um... And it works well with our clarity. So then maybe we can use clarity a bit more. Six future strikes one time. Two times vulnerable to if it's an opener. I don't know how vulnerable works on future strikes. Does it hit them after? Like, do we need vulnerable on them on the next even turn? Follow up. Follow up. Triggers if your chain matches the card type. Oh. Backpack. Open an echo wall. Non open an echo wall. It's, uh, that was a good one. We had a need them, I think. Because of my game style. Alright. Let's, uh, where, did, where was that? Was that in my deck already? Yes. All right, all right, all right. Um, so we're going to put this in, which is another attack. Deal five she. Do we need to take out the she stuff? We've only got one thing in there. I like it, but... Oh, that was our special doing that, though. Okay, what do we got here? Draw and discard one. Deal six, she. Mm. I don't know if we'd go she or not. Um. Opener, echo wall. don't know what to put this on either. Let's just put it on this one, I think. Whoa! Cancel, cancel, cancel. Okay. Oh, oh that's there. Okay. And then draw and... Like, this might be good. We could even pick it up after it uses it. We'll just put it on there. Alright. Um... One to make this less. It's not amazing. It's a really bad card, actually. Unless we get some three cost cards. Ooh. So maybe I shouldn't have done that. Follow up, deal two, she. Zen, deal two, she. Alright, we'll see. There's a lot to process. Outpace, block 15, plus one X for each stack of fatigue across all enemies. Okay, we got the Hell Hounds. Um, opener. We've only got two attacks though. We're taking a lot of damage though, so we're going to need to block something. So we could, yeah, we could play all these blocks first. Now we can do this for free. Apply weak on this one. Oh, every time we hit him, he doesn't like it. Fair enough, mate. But well, that's okay. Okay. Oof. Oh, that hits us instantly? So we should have played the blocks afterwards or something? Hmm. Ouch. 
Deal three damage whenever the target of attack. Oh, yeah, fair enough. But we have to block afterwards. Okay. Uh, this guy's not dead yet. So we have to hit him first. And then we block this. The green is his life. So we need to hit him one more time. Ouch. We're not going to be able to block enough though. It's just how it is. Okay, so he's dead. We'll do some more damage to this guy. And then we will block a bit. Mmm. It's a bit harder, this guy. It takes a while for this to cool down as well. Alright, this one's good. Apply slow to something. Um... So that was a blue. We could do this one on one of these. Nice, we drew it. Um, um it's gonna just do eight, and that's it. I'll right, get rid of that. Um, now we need to do another one of these. No, we can't. Now we're going to do lots of future strikes to one of them. Okay. Whoa. Hopefully I'll figure this all out. Because at the moment it seems a little bit harder than the other ones. So if I do this, they're going to take all the damage they took back at them so let's do that can't get rid of that card we're gonna block nothing which is really bad we're gonna attack someone else that guy's dead 14 uh it'll do 20 damage Okay. We could even do this. I want to see that how this works. Because he'll do 10 damage to me. Does it do 10 damage back to him? I think it did. Um, Alright, we can block all that. Um, oh, we can discard that, yeah. Not that it's helping us that much. Seven attack. I think we'll get rid of one of those, play that, and play that. Oh, I forgot about that afterwards. Oh, that's a pain. That really hurts me. I wish, I wish because we're blocked it should go on, on top of that. Okay. All right, um, we're going to upgrade something. Well, we need to upgrade this so it can be played any time. Potion. Elite. Tough fights. These encounters offer two souls and a choice of an elite artifact. Yes, please. Oh, we have to pay for the potions. Well, I'm taking a bit of damage. All right, we'll take those and we'll continue on. Right, on to the elite battle. Corpse Mound. Over the eons, the remains of the countless dead conjugate, weaving together and forming a construct, wrought of bone, broken bones, and decaying flesh. And yeah, we've taken this up, guy up before as well. What do we got this time? Stew of bad memories. Each time you cast your spell, increase 
this item by one. When it reaches three, your spell cooldown will reset. Okay. When dealing future strike or she to a slowed enemy, increase the amount dealt by two each time. That sounds really good. Echo wall only reflects one third of the damage, but you delay block equal to reflected damage. Hmm. Well, we're kind of going with that echo wall thing. So I like that. I like that. And that's the way it is. Okay, apply vulnerable and weak. Zen deal six sheep. All right, let's do it. Maybe we should have... Just use Marta and Sid or something, but we've got stuff going on both sides. I like it. That's really unique in this game that you can have actually health on both sides. That's cool. We're on two days. That's pretty harsh. All right. What do we got? Well, we can do three attacks if we want. All right, it's going to hurt though. Big time. It's hard that we don't have any bl much block when you come up onto this screen. done the ability we could do two abilities do, 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 do. we'd have to sell one then we wouldn't be able to cast our other ability but it would give us a decent amount of block but the echo wall will reflect all his damage and give it a block so we're just going to take 20 damage that's horrible luckily we've got two health potions I think alright um Let's get that echo block going. Um, Zen slow one. So where's this? Oh, we didn't have Zen. Okay. Ooh. Okay. So this will do 22 damage to him and we'll block 22 damage. Block 8. Does half. Reduces. When an, an, an enemy attacks, any damage they inflict will be reflected back. Reduced by 1 at the start of your turn. Echo Wall only reflects one third of the damage, but your delay block equals. The, okay, okay, okay. Alright. Probably not as good as I thought then. Um, ability. We've got three attacks and then we can use these follow up opener if we use it as an opener we get nine block so i think we need to do that um apply weak and deal three shiv three times to all enemies all right let's get this going oh that was an opener as well well, that's all right. Now we're going to do... Uh... Damn. Zen doesn't actually get us anything too much. Maybe a draw card later. But he's hurting us big time. <laughs> a lot of fists are hitting him in the face, though. Oh, could be dying here. I'm glad we didn't do this on extreme difficulty. All right, we can definitely get a decent amount of block this turn. Strike two times open a range. Uh, may as well hit him with this as well. We don't need that. We'll get energy for that one. Ugh. 
I'm feeling dazed. That he might be dead. ka -ching. Definitely not flawless. But we did get an artifact. Um, not sure if that helped or hindered us actually though. We've got another overcharge. I think we're going to need to use a potion. Block 15 plus X for each stack of fatigue across all enemies. I don't know how much fatigue we're putting on enemies. Not that much. All right. Um, what are we using all the time? I guess we are using these all the time now, but it'd be better if we could. No, we don't need to stack them. So this is fine on them. I think. Okay. Standard fight. Get some money. We want to go here. We can get an upgrade plus a whole lot of money. Maybe go back up there if we're really lucky. Alright. Block 5, follow up trigger, plus 1. Okay. Oh my gosh, now we've got a dragon. Alright. Dragon well. Alright, what do we got? Ability, 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 and then two attacks. Okay. Alright, let's four sight our card. Um and apply slow. So slow just free reduces its frenzy by one per stack. Mm -hmm. I don't think I bet it overcharges us, which is really handy. I think. Alright, we'll discard this then. Use that. Use that. Do a lashing kick and then do that. Alright. Next time we use Zen, we'll get an extra card. We are burning though. All right, we got lots of attacks, so let's do that. Let's just use this on him. Um, start using all these. Gain some block for next turn. Okay. Fatigue. So we do put one fatigue on all characters every now and again. Uh, okay, we've got three abilities. This time. No, attacks. Okay. Um, Alright, let's do it. Definitely not getting as much synergy and, and like, I don't know, it doesn't feel as, as strong. I must be doing something wrong, maybe, with this character. But I feel like, yeah, definitely not as powerful. Um, all right, what do we got here? But this is a cool part when you do a massive amount of damage. It's gonna give me some bangs. All right, we're going to choose one to discard. Okay. Use that first. Get some clarity on something. And... I think he's dead next turn, hopefully. Okay. So, I would say he'd be dead. Nice. Block 5, follow up, trigger plus 1. I think that's good. Potentially. Let's put that in instead of one of these other blocks. 
could put one of these in maybe. It's a decent amount of block. We'll try it. I don't know if it's going to work because of how much ma mana it takes. Um, stillness, vulnerable, weak, shen, zen. Very hard to get. We have to get lots of cards in our hands to be able to gain out of that. Let's put some fury into this. All right. Um, we could go up here. What's this? Some items are tainted with the void darkness. Although they come with benefits, they also can't carry their own misfortunes. No, I think we'll go down here. Go to the merchant, see what he's got. Okay, we can buy most things. Echo wall one, chain one. Playing cards of the same type sequently will advance your chain at three in Zen. So does that automatically give a chain when you use it? I would say so. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Um, Game Rage. That's a weird one. I guess you'd use it on the last hit when all your other um, cards cost zero then. Because they de decreased. Um... Echo wall sounds pretty good. What's the upgraded? Purge. Game 1 energy. Don't know if the um, upgraded version's any that much better. Aggressive attack. Deal 30 damage. Apply vulnerable. Recur a random attack. Wow. Wow. Pretty cool. I think we'll get this. Just the regular one. Save our money for some other things. And we'll put that into our deck. Uh, that's a... Kind of a block. Ooh. We're not blocking it fully though, which is... Really bad. Every 20 she on target deals 3 she. Whoa, we don't have much she. Okay. All right, I don't know where I'm going. Don't know where I'm going with this. Okay. Apply slow. If it's a follow-up, apply vulnerable three. So you can either open it or follow it up. So we want to follow this one up. But we can't follow it up. So we might just get rid of that one for now. Um... That's an ability. Oh, we can follow it up. Alright, well, let's see what this follow-up does. So now he's vulnerable 3, which is heaps good. We don't get the... Um... The she out of it. Alright, let's, let's go for a big mana turn. We haven't really done that yet. To eat both of them? No, just one. Alright. Um, okay, so let's see what this does. So this will chain one. Yeah, so then we go instantly into this crazy mode. We get Echo Wall. And we slow them down by one. We don't have much armor though. And this won't reflect poison damage. Okay. Ooh. Okay, follow up trigger plus one. So that's good. And we've got enough ability. So let's uh, block follow up, which will trigger it twice. So we'll get 10. Oh, we don't need 10. It's okay. Do a clarity on, let's say, this one. Hope we don't draw it. Um, we do something like that. We hit this guy. And then we hit this guy for 18. 
Okay, he seems to always eat this one. That's a decent amount of damage. He should be dead. We just need to do some damage somehow to this one. Oh, I need that one. Oh, but this is good. So this will give us a decent amount. Um, okay. Okay, so now we can block for heaps. Yes, that's good. Um, why not we'll do that as well? I don't. I think they're both. All of them are dead. Yes. Okay, we got a perfect victory. I don't think we'll use this yet. We might be able to get something out of it. Okay. All right, let's get this one. Life would be good, but we want to get the upgrade plus souls and money and all the rest of that good stuff. Zen delay block three. With the follow up. Does that does it get affected the uh, the turn it gets Zen? Don't know. I think we'll um. Plus two X. All right, we'll do that one. Can't go up here, unfortunately. Whoa. Hmm, slows down the attacks, but it now does apply vulnerable one to all enemies each turn. Hmm. Avoid boss, this crazy worm thing. Alright, we've got a chain we can go. We've got an overcharge. We've got future blocks. We gain some mana. If we can get enough blocks though. 15 there. 5 now. Um, we've only got attacks, but five blocks all we need. And we get that for free after we do all of our attacks. Okay. And we can get Zen if we wanted to, which would do six damage, which is the same as that though. So we won't. What does this do? Each time you purge a card. Oh, apply one vulnerable. We should have done that first. That was silly. That was silly. Okay. Alright, 11 damage. Okay, we've got 3 energy. Open up, block 9. That's perfect. But if it's a follow up, apply vulnerable 3, which is, I think, just better. Then we miss out on all these other ones. So let's... We'll just do it this way. Um, we'll have to sell this. And then we'll um, hit him a lot. Damn. Inflict days on us. Okay, we can get the um, Zen State. We'll use it on... Uh, this one maybe. Um, we don't need this. So we won't take it. Uh, then we can do that, we can do that, and that's free. Okay. They're sleeping two now. Oh, 19. All right, we've got Echo Wall if we want. Then we can get that and all the rest of them are free. Okay. Now, do we have Vulnerable? No. We're going to take a little bit of damage, unfortunately. We could weaken him this turn. 
I think we will kill him next turn. We did take a little bit of damage though, but... Hmm. Okay, we should be good this turn. Gain some rage. Um, make him vulnerable. Doesn't matter though. Nice. Alright, um, yeah, I think we'll use this. I sound so confident. Alright, let's put this one in then. We're not getting many blocks now though, are we? Put it in that one. 4670. Do we use a potion yet? What do we got? An elite fight with a potion. Alright, is it it's going to be a random potion or is it going to be a potion? We'll just have to survive. Alright, let's do it. Oh, these infected dudes. Okay. One effect card will be added to your discard. Whenever you draw an effect card, all enemies gain one AP. Okay, well let's um do this one. Uh, we've got three attacks easy here, so let's open up with one. Doesn't matter who we attack. Um, alright. Okay. Okay. So we can definitely chain quickly to get all this block up. And then we can do some of these things. That hits dead. Alright, we've got three wall up. So he comes back next turn. Six damage, only blocking two. Okay. Do a four sight. We've got three blues. Um. All right, we'll do this. This is a follow-up, so one of them will get vulnerable three. Then we do a block, we go into Zen mode. Um We'll get rid of this, cast this, and put that on that guy. Ouch. Okay, we're gonna get starting to get affected. That's not good. Um, all right, let's do an. We haven't got three of the same card here. I think we can do this guy because then his bill, she will uh, move across to someone else, and then we'll uh, just yeah do some blocks, getting ready for their attacks. So they won't get attacked till next time now, because every three turns. Like this wall is not doing that much. But we are we did get rid of all the block. Okay. Um We've got three attack cards. Yeah, we could do that, I guess. It takes four turns to recover that though. Ooh. Alright, let's put vulnerable on this one. Then we'll hit him in the face. This one in the face. This could be bad. We'll probably draw it and then lose it instantly. But Okay. Alright. Bit of damage coming in. He might this might die, this might die then. 
Oh, no, is it this turn? Wow, okay. I don't know what's going on. All right, um, put an echo wall up. We got, we're going to get hit hard. We got no energy either. Well, I don't know about this guy. Not sure about this boy. Be a lot of um, this going across though. Not enough though. Ow. Ow. Don't be hitting me so much. Alright, we got a lot of damage. We've got that raid that we want first. We need to block though. It's not even going to be enough block. Ugh. Okay. You just you just can't not take damage with this guy. Now we just have to survive. Um There's no point in hitting him for more. Realistically. Alright, mate. I don't even know if that's good, actually, because you, you're just taking so much damage before it actually goes in. Alright, so he's dead this turn. Oh, we'll just defend like crazy. Bam. Okay. Gain two energy. Okay, we've got an exploding bottle instead of a health bottle. So what does this do? Oh, it costs one instead. Hmm. I think we'll upgrade that. Rigged. Okay. Alright, we're going to need some potions here. Because we're not looking that healthy. Um, vulnerable, slow, and weak. Extra card would be heaps. All right, we'll do that. Maybe we'll grab the energy then. We don't need the energy as long as we play enough abilities, though. Potentially. But now we can do a double hit on something. Applying vulnerable, doing anything to that doesn't help us. Chain one. We could do this one again and gain lots of energy and it's in a two ability. But again, we don't really need all that energy. Um, this one might not be bad to duplicate. It's a nice quick one. Maybe this one. Let's do Furious. We do do it at the end, though. That's alright. We'll do Furious. Because we are Furious. Alright, what am I doing here? Okay. Right, why am I stuck in here? What am I? Oh, I've got too many cards. Okay, fair enough. Like it won't let me out. Echo wall isn't helping us as much as we want it to. But we do have the other thing though. Ugh. Could even get rid of calculate. We can vulnerable some things ourselves. Stillness. Gain momentum. Then again. Oh, I'll grab one of those out. Alright. Here we go. Here we go. Just thinking it all through. Alright, we've got the piggies. Let's start her up. Now, what's this again? Once a turn, when this enemy suffers damage, all allies 
die. Once a turn, when this enemy suffers damage or an ally dies, it will increase frenzy bill one. Okay, so we've got to kill its piglets, kind of. No, we don't. Alright. Uh, but they do explode after a certain time. It's like the eighth threat, which isn't much. Alright, what do we got? We got three of both. We want to inflict vulnerable three, realistically. Um, so to do that, we need to follow up. Let's um, grab this. And we'll do it on, let's say, this one. Uh, we don't need masses and masses of this. Alright, and then we follow up. Putting vulnerable three on this guy. Lock next turn. Gain a whole lot of cards. I think we just go full out on this guy. Defeating the center enemy will end the fight. Yeah, okay. Yeah, see, that's good. All right, that feels a little bit stronger than we have been before, which is great because we're on the boss fight. We do draw an extra card, though. That's the thing. All right, we get most of that block back. Uh, do we use this? We definitely use that. All right, opener. How many cards? We've got a lot of fight cards. But we could gain energy first. Because we're going to have to use this to gain enough energy to use all three. Um, but it doesn't matter because we're just losing energy anyway. Alright, so we'll, we're not going to be able to play this. He's already vulnerable for two turns. We don't need to play this. So let's go for uh, some strikes. Oh, they're not happy. They're about to explode on me. Okay. This guy will explode soon as well. Yeah, I'm not sure how far we'll go with this, guys. All right, um, do echo and chain, follow up, trigger plus one, don't need it though, that's okay, we'll do vulnerable, and that, we do need it now, which we can't, oh, we can do it, good, okay, all right, oh, Let's swap my hands around. Alright, we could gain energy. We got the chain going again. Follow up block. Don't need the block. We might later when these guys explode. Fight attacks though. Alright, we're in Zen mode. We play two more cards. This thing explodes. Doesn't really matter which one we play. That will get all that block back. Okay. Run around, get exhausted. <laughs> okay, here we go. Should be a pretty big turn damage wise. We've got five energy. So he will die with this thing, for sure. Deal four future strikes, deal six, seven future strikes. We'll just start hitting these guys as well, I guess. Doesn't matter. We should be able to kill this guy. Yeah, okay. All right, all right. Bacon bomb. Gain 25 max health. Gain two random void stones. Gain two upgrade points. 
I think we get the void stones. If we get some black ones, they really do punch up our damage. Because things cost the same amount. There's a go. That's good. Uh, gain two exploding bottles and one crippling. Not bad. Gain four souls. Okay. Draft three commons from a pool of ten. Not really keen on that. We could just save all our money. Like, potions are going to be good though, I guess. Normal potions are 200 each. Two, four, six. We're actually paying more than we want for them. But potions are good. Alright. If we start getting in trouble, we might need them. Souls, are they better than money? I don't know what a soul's worth, eh? Alright, if we find that uh, chest piece, I think we need to go here. We like this, we like this. Um, we kind of like this if we get lucky. Take some elite battles. Get an artifact here. I can't remember what we spend it on. Uh, collect. I think we spend it on money though. So if we can get some extra money. Hopefully we'll have enough money by then to pick up something. And then I guess we'll go along here. We'll just go all the way along the top. There are those who sh shun the idea of essence as currency. Instead they decide to collect souls. Those who have passed artifacts and void stones available to purchase. That could be good. I think the chest piece will be really good with our cards. It seems to really synergize with our attacks. We might be able to get this as well as this. Alright. Um, Alright, let's put this on before I end this episode or else I'll forget what I'm doing. So I think we need it on attack cards for sure. Um, deal three future strikes two times open at 25 rage do we, do we get another attack per 20 she on target deal three she we don't even do any she deal five she follow up deal two she zen deal two she this could be good maybe Especially if we put the black socket on it. We're doing a lot of she. Because she is the she of she's. Slow or open a rage. Okay. We'll see how much build up of she we get. We want foresight. Yes, we'll leave foresight in. I don't know. Maybe it's not that good. Decreases it by one. Oh, two zero until the card is played. Yeah. We need a really high high spell card, rig it, and then um, play it for free. I guess you could do that with this card. No, it's only two. Oh, this is rigging it. Okay, okay, okay. That could be useful. I think when you upgrade them, they rig anyway. But we could... What's a good rig card? Maybe one of these two? I don't know what to rig yet. I think we'll wait until we get another elite card or something. Alright, guys. There we go. That's another floor. We're on floor two. With the monk. What's his actual name? Forgotten. Find that out. Um... But yeah, let's see how we go. It's a lot more difficult with this character. I think I'm just trying to work him out. But yeah, very fun. All right. Thanks, guys. Until next time. White Falcon out.